Drastic changes in the weather or other issues with calving can cause big challenges for producers trying to care for their livestock. Wouldn't it be nice if there was a way to plan or practice for those situations? Turns out there is. Here's SunUp's Curtis Hare with more. Now grab your chain and try to do the half hitch. You got, there it is. Before now, wrapping up the annual Central Oklahoma head. Cattle Conference in Payne County, sure. there's one last presentation that requires Just some hands-on fall. participation oh, from attendees. Whoa! <laughs> Just broke its neck. You did a good job. This is our good job. Herford Dystocia Simulator. Uh, it's a live, fairly, fairly close to a life-sized cow. Uh, and basically what we can do is use yeah, this model to simulate uh, difficult births. That's what we're doing and people can practice, learn how to pull a calf. That's what this is all okay. about. I don't know who does that. I'm sure somebody does. I've heard that my whole life, but yeah. I never yeah. attempted to turn a calf from backwards up to front. We can make it as simple or as difficult as we want as far as the presentation of that animal. Do we have it in normal, pre you know, what we would consider anterior presentation which means the calf is coming frontwards not backwards uh, the position of the calf is right side up not upside down and then we can the posture you know normal would be both front feet with the head in the pelvic canal which is uh, a normal birth and people can feel that you know stick their hand in here feel around they learn that that's what a normal birth is plus they can come up and view it and see how that calf is sitting you know how it would sit internally in a live situation so that head coming out and we're kind of prolapsing her I probably didn't put enough there's certain ways you want to put those chains on so you don't break a leg uh, there's certain ways if you've got a leg backwards uh, you know something like that how we need to manipulate that leg to get it pulled up into the pelvic canal so that we don't damage the uterus or uh, or some other structure in there so so we can simulate those things and, and people can benefit see that they can actually watch us and see how we manipulate it and actually practice if they want to it is helpful to get the chance to roll up some sleeves and see what pulling a calf is like Having Dr. Whitworth, a veterinarian, guide them through the simulation and answer questions solidifies the experience. The longer we wait, the more likely we are to have issues with the calf. Being able to see how that calf is setting in there, that's something new to them because we don't have a window here to look in to see what what things are going on internally. So it's nice to be able for them to come up and look and see. Payne County Extension Director Nathan Anderson says the birthing simulation is just a small part of the main theme for this year's conference. Cattle reproduction. Reproduction, reproduction efficiency, that's including health genetics, uh, forage-based diets, uh, reducing cost for, for producers. So anything that is of benefit to the producer for their beef operation. Today's conference isn't a one-time only show for the simulator. Dr. Whitworth plans to do many more demonstrations across the state. That's what Extension is all about. I mean, we're, we're taking what the research the and, and taking it to the public and hopefully <laughs> teaching them something uh, that they can use on their operation. In Payne County, I'm Curtis Hare.